As former President Donald Trump continues his campaign, his rhetoric around immigration remains a key theme. In Aurora, Colorado, Trump has painted a stark picture of a city allegedly overrun by violent Venezuelan gangs, specifically the Tren de Aragua. However, local leaders, both Republican and Democrat, have firmly pushed back against these claims, emphasizing that the city is far safer than Trump portrays. Aurora's Republican mayor, Mike Kaufman, has been vocal in dispelling the narrative, stating that while there have been incidents of gang activity, they are isolated and confined to a few apartment complexes, not the entire city of over 400,000 residents. Kaufman also extended an invitation for Trump to meet with the city's police chief to receive a briefing on the actual situation. Despite these efforts, Trump's narrative remains unchanged. The story of Venezuelan gangs taking control of the city gained traction earlier in the year when an out-of-state landlord, CBZ Management, blamed armed gang members for preventing repairs in its poorly maintained properties. Local officials, including Kaufman, initially echoed the claims but later retracted their statements after investigations revealed that the gang activity had been grossly exaggerated. City officials have since taken action arresting several men linked to the gang and placing the problematic apartment complexes into receivership. Many in Aurora view Trump's rhetoric as politically motivated and damaging. Representative Jason Crow, a Democrat, has accused the former president of lying to stoke fear and gain votes. City council members and residents stress that the real issue lies with negligent landlords, not rampant criminal activity. Aurora, known for its diverse and welcoming community, is pushing back against what it sees as attempts to mischaracterize the city for political gain. 